and this is Stitchless TV. Now today on Stitchless TV, I'm going to show you how to make these roses that I have on this top. So in a previous video, we made this strappy camisole top. And it was made out of one shirt, one men's shirt. And it's quite easy to do, but it was a bit plain for me. So I had to fiddle about with it a little bit. <laughs> so later on in the film, I'll show you what we did. So you need to cut um, strips for doing your roses, which I cut out of some leftover shirt sleeves. Now I've made mine wider at one end and then sort of coming in a little bit, but you can make yours whatever shape you want. Now the important thing is when we sew, okay, we fold it over, but we don't line it up all perfectly like that. You have to make it ski whiffy. So when I sew, I'm probably coming along about, I don't know, about an inch, and then I'm bringing the edges flush together as I sew and letting it twist on the fold edge. Now starting's the tricky bit, so let's just get that in position and put the needle in. Now you want to sew on a straight stitch, and we're going to do it on a large stitch because we're going to kind of gather it. So once you get started a little bit, start bringing it over. So you're going to bring it over, sew a little bit at a time. So bring it over. Now you see how your fold line sort of going twisty or twisted. That's okay. Now the seam allowance from the edge should be a bit bigger than I'm doing really. You want it to be about two millimetres. Now I'm not going to stop at the edge, I'm going to stop a bit, like an inch and a half in. And then don't go backwards and forwards. Right, now what you want to do is pull just one of those threads, doesn't matter which one, just pull one, so that you sort of gather it up. So go all the way along that edge, gently gathering up the raw veg. Now when you think you've gathered it enough, you don't need to do it too much. First of all, you want to fold that bit down and then start rolling. But as you roll, I want you to make it sort of flat at the bottom. Now because you've done the gathers, you will get all the pleaty bits, so don't worry about that. Okay, so keep going all the way along. I guess until you're happy with the shape, really. See, look, look how it just sort of pleats and becomes more like a bud. Now, before you get to the end, and if you're happy with your bud, you can stitch this by hand, or I'm going to use the sewing machine, but carefully. So I'm going to put it underneath. Now I'm going to use the wheel on the side to sew it. So on the side of the sewing machine we have a wheel, okay? And when I turn it the needle will go up and down. Now if I just went ahead and just sewed this I'd probably break a needle. But if I feel as I sew how much resistance there is or how thick the fabric is, then I won't break my needle. Okay, you don't need to go back and forwards, so then take it off and have a look at what you've got. So we've ended up with this, which looks like a rosebud, a bit. <laughs> so now decide how you want to finish off your ends and how big you want it to be. So just play around and sort of adjust these bits until it looks rosebud-like to you. And then when you're happy, I think I'm happy with that. So when you're happy, 
You're going to have to adjust it quite a lot after us, but if you're happy with the shape, then you can sew these bits together. Now, because these are la the last bits, I prefer to use a zigzag here. And it's not so thick, so I can just sew it. Now, trim off your excess fabric. And these raw edges, they'll be hidden by the time you adjust your flower to look more rosebud-like. Something like that. So it ends up looking like this, which is all right, isn't it? <laughs> but do you know what? I prefer it when you flatten it with um, an iron, you sort of open it out and flatten it. Also, it's nice to make these leaves. So I'll show you those in a minute, but let's just put these three together because they look better when you have them together in a group like that. But I'll show you what I do when I flatten them, okay? So let's just move those. So when I flatten it, I'm sort of pulling out the sides first and I'm getting a load of steam and just sort of squishing it. You've got to decide the angle that the, the flower's sort of going in. So I think I'm going to have the bulk of mine down there. So really good squash. Now I think that looks better like that. So let's put them together. So they look good in twos, but they also look good in threes, don't they? Well, I'm just going to quickly sh show you how to do that leaf, but really it's so easy. So to do the leaf, I've just got a strip of fabric. I'm going to fold it over. Now what I would say about the leaves, make them quite wide at the bottom because they're very difficult to turn otherwise. I might be able to get two out of here. So. Now I thought, it, I'll put it back to straight stitch. I thought it looked nice with the lines going this way. It looked odd with the lines going across. So, so start to come in to a bit of a point. And then go down the other side. Oh, look, I'm about to run out of thread. Let's see if we can do it. So then just cut very close to the edge. Now I know you can hardly see that and that you want it to be black thread, but I've got black thread. Now turning it, it's a little bit tricky actually, turning it. So you need to open it up. Now I found it easier to just get a pair of scissors and sort of turn it on the scissors. So let's see if we can do. So it's easy to put them on the scissors and then just turn it like that, push it through. Now you are going to have to press it, but before we press it, we need to put a little pleat. So this is for doing the leaf. This is how to do the leaf. So I've put a little pleat, something like that. Stay stitch it together. And then make sure you give it a good press because that makes a really big difference. Now I don't know what you think about that, but that's not bad. If you think we started off with it just being the sleeve of a man's shirt. I've pinned my roses in position on the top that I want them to go on. But I'm trying to decide whether to glue gun them on or to use a needle and thread to sew them on. I might end up using both. Anyway, I'm going to try with the glue gun. Ooh. Now, when you glue it, glue both sides and really squash it into position. Now, I'm going to hold that down until I'm really sure Oops, that it's glued. Now, see how I've put something between the front of the top and the back of the top? 
So I'm just really squidging it. Now, hot glue is actually quite good for gluing um, stuff onto fabric because it really melts into the fabric and, and keys to the fabric well. I think so. So I'm going to get the leaf in position now. So I put glue on the leaf and glue on the top as well. Bit of pressure. And then I want this one to sort of, the raw veggies to kind of go underneath a little bit there. So I think that would be good, like that. So on the actual rows and really well on the top. So I would leave that for quite a few hours before you wear it, but really it's, it's very well stuck already. Now I'm going to do it on the other side as well, over there. Now, do you remember I mentioned that in a previous video, uh, we made a strappy camisole top out of a men's shirt and I wasn't that keen on it, it was a bit too plain for me. So do you want to see now what I did? So there we go, that's the back and wait for it because it is really nice, look at this, that really is the front, do you want a close look? So this is what we did, okay? Um, so we, we had that camisole from the camisole tutorial and we basically did um, the frills that we did in this tutorial where we used two shirts to upcycle a shirt. And I laid two layers of fabric on and then gathered it and put it on there. If we turn around here. So I joined a great big long piece of fabric together. I kept the hems and I did French seams just as I did in that other tutorial, okay? Nothing different. Now I ran out of fabric when I got there, so I thought, oh, what can I do? So I found this long strip of lace. Look, so there's a great big gap there. And I put it on both sides. Now doing this bit, I have to say, putting on the lace on like this, you know, a lot of these things would be a lot easier if you just did them in the first place. Because um, lining it up was a little bit tricky. It would have been easier to start off with that. Anyway, and the roses. Now you want me to try it on, don't you? But because I like it, I haven't got a problem with trying it on. So that's better. That's much more me, isn't it? Look. Anyway, I hope you like it. Tell me which one you prefer, actually. Do you prefer it when it was plain? Or do you prefer it with all this stuff on it? Thank you so much for watching Stitches TV. Now, I think we're going to stop upcycling men's shirts for a little while, because we've got quite a few. Now, I'm putting the links to how to make this top out of two men's shirts, and how to do drawing with your sewing machine to refashion a, a man's shirt in the link below. Oh, and also how to make this camisole when it was plain. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again very soon. Bye.